Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to do things a little different. We're going to take a break from the F100 and work on my other F-Series truck. My 2013 F-150. Well, I guess we're not really going to be working on the truck so much as we're going to be working on an accessory. What I'm going to be doing is cutting a hard tonneau cover down to size to fit on my truck. I needed a tonneau cover for my truck. I really like the hard tonneaus, but they demand a big price. They're hard to come by on Craigslist at a good price. However, the longer bed ones seem to be a little bit more readily available and at a better price. Being that my truck is just a generation old, they're still demanding big money. So I came across this one under $100, so I thought it was a good deal and I'd give it a shot on cutting it down. So. That's what we're going to do today is cut down a fiberglass tonneau cover to fit a short bed forward. The first step, like anything, is to tear it all down. Now that I've got everything disassembled, it's time to cut the tonneau cover itself. Trying to figure out where to cut it was a big question because I can't cut it just to the length of the box now because it will have to have a slight slope at the end so whenever it tilts up it doesn't hit the cap. So I measured from where I thought the cap would hit outside the tailgate all the way to the end of the box and then measured back a couple inches. That should give me enough room to manufacture a new piece there by the cab that's got a slope into it. Next step is to go ahead and get it cut. I took a board and laid across the tonneau and clamped it down. I'm just using a circular saw with a composite blade in there and using that board as a guide to make sure I have a nice clean straight cut across the tonneau to start manufacturing my new edge off of. Now that we've got the tonneau cover itself cut down to the length we need, we need to start making the piece that goes up front now. With the tonneau, it has a slight crown to it, so I needed to cut a piece of wood that would have that same crown all the way across. The way I've done this, you may or may not want to do. Um, I could have taken a jigsaw, held that board up on end, 
and tried to cut it this way but I decided not to the difference between the middle and the ends is exactly one inch so what I've decided to do is take a 2x4 take a piece of 1x4 put it in the middle clamp it tight put two one inch riser blocks on each side clamp it down drill holes to put dowel rods in to hold it in place that'll give me the curve that I need and then the 2x4 will act as a nice straight edge to where I can just run that through the table saw, cut that, pull the dowels out, and it'll give me one tapered board that'll be thick in the middle and taper down to nothing on the ends. And it'll fit the contour of the tonneau cover. So that'll be our first piece that goes right up next to the tonneau cover. If you're not good with tools, especially a table saw, yeah, don't do this at home. Now that I've got that nice tapered piece there that will match up to the tonneau cover, the next section in this sandwich of wood that we're making is going to be a 1x6. Now that'll go the whole length of the tonneau right there. That'll ultimately be where the hinge attaches to. And that'll be glued to that piece. That'll be the start of the foundation of the new back end for it. The other piece I have is just a 2x2 two two that fills the difference between the end of the tonneau cover, the way that that crowns out to it, and the new piece here. 
So we're going to glue all that together and then I'm going to hit it with a sander to get the profiles of the sides and then I'm just going to cut one long 40 degree angle I think is what it was so that when the tonneau cover rises up that prevents it from hitting the back of the truck.
Now that we've got all of our wood structure made up and put in place, it's time to start with some fiberglass. I'm using stranded fiberglass and just a normal fiberglass resin that I'm just putting three coats over the whole thing. The main structure of this back piece is now going to be of the wood. This is just kind of giving it added strength there. Now that I have everything fiberglassed in, it's pretty straightforward now. I just have some automotive body filler that we're going to go over where we've sanded down the fiberglass and start to smooth it up to get the final shape that we're looking for.
Okay, moving right along. Almost finished. Last couple steps here is to get it under primer and paint. Now that we've got everything painted up, the only thing left to do is the final assembly. I gotta remount all the hardware because the way that we've moved this around just a little bit, everything's pretty close to where it was, but not exactly. I think that's going to do it for today. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Tell me what you guys think. I always enjoy reading the comments. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We do a lot of different things like this. A lot of it spent working on this F100, but we do take breaks from time to time to work on side projects. Till next time, have a good one.